Greetings, honorable judges, respected audience, and to the millions of Indonesian youths that are listening. Every generation has experienced a major conflict or crisis, but our generation, Generation Z, has never been exposed to it. So it is not surprising that some people might say that our generation is too soft, our generation couldn't compete, our generation is not prepared. This is what everybody in the world is saying right now. But that long peace has now been broken by the Russian invasion of Ukraine, which will affect our country's economy. Globalization has connected the world into one single economy. But the downside is, our neighbor's problem is now our problem. Economists said that this energy crisis will bring a recession to our motherland early next year in 2023. So, are the so-called soft youths of Indonesia ready to take on this challenge? My name is Dave Sebastian from Sinlui One Senior High, and today I want to discuss about youth challenges for Indonesia's 2023 recession. But first, we have to ask ourselves, why do the youths need to care about this recession? Well, G. Michael Hobb once said that good times create weak men. This means that the better our times become, the greater our ignorance unfolds. War in our era is not a physical war, but an economic one. So if we do not prepare ourselves for this war, then I can assure you that we will see a certain collapse of our nation. Now, after understanding the importance in dealing with this recession, we have to understand the challenges. There are three main challenges for the Indonesian youth for this 2023 recession. So, let's go deeper into every one of them. The first is that our generation is too soft. People often say this because our generation has been pampered by the comfort of peace and prosperity. Our generation is also too sensitive and always looking for shortcuts. We have to harden ourselves. We have to realize that the world owes nothing to us and that we cannot get whatever we want. We also need to learn to become more independent and we also need to learn to take on the hard path. Our generation also lives in an era that is too politically correct. So we need to learn to respect people's opinion and not be too sensitive. Without these characters, our nation will fall and perish. The second is competition with the global world. If the Indonesian youth is not prepared to enter the digital or 5.0 society, then Indonesia cannot face this 2023 recession and her power and influence in the world will be damaged. Our ancestors once made a huge mistake that led to the Dutch colonizing our country. That mistake is that they do not want to adapt to the new era because they were blinded by the riches of the archipelago while the Dutch, with its tiny resources, was forced to modernize. Sukarno once said that colonization comes in many forms, and in today's era, it comes in a form of economic exploitation. We mustn't let history repeat itself by loving our country and always increasing our hunger for knowledge. We mustn't forget our native soil. After seeking higher education, we must bring that knowledge back home and build our country together so our motherland can compete in this 5.0 society. To compete in this competitive world, we need to push aside all our differences and put Indonesia first. The third and last one is the pressure to tell the whole world that Indonesia still has a formidable successor. Just like our predecessors who have fought for our freedom, we must fight to the death every single thing that threatens our motherland. We must prove to them that we are still brothers and sisters by always uniting under the five principles of Pancasila.
and always uniting for our nation's cause. And if we successfully face this 2023 recession, then we shall prove ourselves worthy to succeed our nation's founding fathers. So youths from every corner of Indonesia, let us all unite and prove to the whole world and to our seniors that we are a strong generation and will face any challenges with unity and pride. That we will defend our motherland, whatever the cost may be. So, as we set sail to our journey through these dark times, always remember that our actions now will determine not just our future, but our nation's future. Stay alert, my friends. A storm is brewing. But do not fear, because God will not give trials beyond the ability of its people. My name is Dave Sebastian from Sinui One Senior High. Thank you for listening. Merdeka!